guys, welcome to a new video. It's Saturday morning, but it's a little bit too late because I should have been down at the painter at 6 o'clock to pick up the Balingo parts. Oh, I'm too late, I have to hurry down there now. Hello Balingo, look, here's your new front. Ready painted, huh? Happy? You should be. So I have a new fender also, huh? You should be real happy also, I'll take good care of you. I have a couple of things to do today. So one of the things, I'm not leaving here today though, before this car is straight. But I also have a lot of some other stuff to organize, so today we have to push. This is the trailer to my friend sponsor, also be locating. I sold it to them three years ago. I'm gonna help them sell it now. And before we do that, I have to fix this and some light and straight up that one. Yeah, a few, few, few things I have to organize. This I also gonna do today. Well, other thing I'm gonna do now today is go roller skis here with the boys. Cattle of hours. Not always is everything going after the plan, you know? It's a day like that. The plan was now come to this roller ski track, warm up and go six, eight minutes intervals with two minute break between. With all the boys, they're on the mountain right now. But we did one interval, I did. And in the second one, I just found out I don't want to do this today. I have no energy for it. I just kind of book, I, I didn't have, I didn't want to do it. So I thought, what the fuck, I stop. Okay guys, I'm really sorry, but this is how it is today. I go back to work. I am now straight up the corner back there on the trailer, a little bit on the other side, fix some lights and organize and the trailer is now ready for sale. And we have connected those pipes into the diesel tank. And I have been filling up the crafter with garbage and I was at the garbage place throwing away a lot of stuff. There was a lot of traffic so that took too much time. But now I'm ready to put the, the balingo in the egg. Yo. Yes, sir. Late arrival today. Yeah. This is late what have you been doing? I've been working at the pharmacy of Tepsi. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> yeah, you was busy this morning. Yeah. Doing good. stickers on the factory down in Halden. Yeah. But now he's here and will help me. You and I have actually just been watching the qualification on Formula One on my phone. That's why we didn't make movie. Because we have actually put the, the Balingo in the egg. Now we're going to measure out how bad it is and straight it. We have a book here now with uh, which different tools should fit uh, where and the measurements. This is a little bit, uh, not complicated, but special. Here is the rear one. These have a special measurement on the wide, also up to a point there, you cannot see it, it's dark. And we have two more like this here on the front, who we'll measure the point up there. So now we know this line is perfectly lined onto the car. And now we're gonna measure the front here. This should be 553 five, wide. This is now perfectly measured in. Then we put it there. I need some more Carolina tool. Is this one the right correct one? Yes. Let me take two of those. So the, the measurement I've talked, it's not a lot, but it's this. This bolt should be there. So let's drag it out. The tower is now spent up. Now we're just gonna push here. Then the tower goes backwards. The frame is going to the side. Oh la la. You know, sideways like this, the car is actually like spaghetti. It was also a little bit too low, so we drag it higher now. It's now 6.9, and on this side it's 6.9. So it's in zero. Little side projector. Okay. Let's see how this is going. Hey, oh! Stop. Something happened. Hey! It starts. This is the rust and fry stainless steel bench I bought down in Kristiansand together with the doors. And this is actually a cooler, you know, for food and stuff. So we decided to test it now. This is good news, John. Yes, very good news. Started on 13, now is it 9? It's working then, eh? Since this is working, then you know, I think I just take a picture and put it straight on Finn and try to sell it for double of what I paid. Good. Then I maybe get paid for the trip down to pick up the doors, you know? Everything is now fitting perfect. But Playboy, hey. we are now done with this one for today. Now we're going to put the, the body shoots down on the canal. And it's now 7 o'clock in the evening, Saturday, so this is actually the last we're going to do today. First thing I'm going to do here now is clean, clean, clean properly with the silicone remover. Oh, nice and smooth. And you need boy, then we look at the other side. What's the gap going to be there? Where is going to be the line? Should be... What is that? It should be your penis thickness. <laughs> 14 <laughs> millimeter. 14, not far away. Eh? Yeah, not far away. <laughs> yeah, Jon. Yes. Turn around. 
Okay, I'm bending over. I can see y'all like that. It's on. Now we're gonna remove this tape. Same time it's wet. There we go. We are done. Stian, you said the camera was the last thing you want to do today. That was before I realized we have to put fug on this door also. Okay. Last thing though. There we go. Hello. Leon, yes. again, thanks a lot for today. Yeah, you're welcome, man. You was only here half day, so you get only yeah. get half paid. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, but anyway, we had a really productive day. Yeah. I'm happy, I'm going home and watch TCR Europe and fall asleep. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here, eating my dinner. At the same time I'm watching the TCR Europe race, the second race from Spa. My favorite track and it's my favorite conditions weather. Eh? It's rain but it's drying, same was yesterday in the first race. Holy shit, I wanted to do better. Mikkel, my buddy, he won yesterday from P14 I think. He started 14 again today. He's leading now with few seconds when his two laps are mining. I don't know what to say, I cannot explain you how... How disappointed I feel not to be able to compete this weekend at Spa. But that's how it is, we just have to work even harder to manage to get back there as soon as possible. Mikkel won again! Huge congrats, Betty! And Tommy finished P2. Yalla boys, now it's Sunday. Sunday. It's before 7 o'clock in the morning, so it's early. I like that actually, now I can push and do a lot because now it's it. nobody will disturb me. Um, I got so excited to watch the TCR Europe race yesterday. I, saw, I, I really want to race, eh? So I wake up at 5 this morning, actually, I actually cannot sleep properly. Thought okay, I have to push even harder, so here I am. Now we're gonna push. I have no mask up here because I'm gonna paint the inside and I don't want paint out on the water I've sanded down. So yeah, now we're gonna paint the inside. I am not done painting the Seat here inside, actually. Also here, is it not painted how it should be? I also painted on the back side here because when the car is done on the wheel and in the paint box at the painter later it's impossible to get paint on the back side here you know but now it's done. Also on the back side underneath here and up underneath there. Is it now paint? No this is gonna dry till later today then I'm gonna take the masking inside off and then I can start to mount the car inside. While this is drying now I'm gonna continue in this one. And the weather today is just fantastic though. I guess it's not gonna be any run today. It's out from the egg. Now you're gonna get new brakes, front and rear. And I'm gonna do service, oil and stuff. Uh, I like to do that before I sell the cars. So when I'm gonna sell it, everything is done, you know. So you don't have to say this is not so good and this is not so good. And I can say that everything is perfect. I must have done something wrong because I only have disc for front. While this car is dripping oil now, I'm gonna start mount the front bumper. Polish at the chrome now with my 3M Fast Cut Plus. That's working amazing on this actually. And this you get from my sponsor, Bilak Specialist. Looks nice. Front bumper is mounted on and it's fitting good. And the paint here was dry, so I removed all the plastic and tape inside. But now is the time to go home and watch the Formula One. Formula One, my fitness is done. This paint is so dry now because I had so much turbo in when I painted this morning. I'm gonna start mounting inside. For you guys who don't know, this is the roof airbag. And there is it mounted. Roof panel is inside. And actually, I will not mount anything more here now before the car is painted outside because I have to cover this hole and stuff then. So, to mount more stuff for now, it will just be stupid to do. So, now I'm thinking about mounting the rear axle, but it's Sunday evening, it's late. I want to go home, but should I mount this before? I'm not sure. The rear axle is on, the car is down the wheel, first time since it was crashed. I am very glad I did this now, so I don't have to do this tomorrow. Then I can push with the next project tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow, eh? Guess who went up to the first division in football yesterday? Was it FFK? That's yes. why you have bröte kaka And Sanne's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but I can eat bröte kaka every day. That's no problem. <laughs> now I'm at my sponsor place, Østfold Bilmontering. I need some Citroën Berlingo parts, but as you can see, it's a lot of parts here. This is what I needed, a floor mat and a cover to the Sikrings box. That's all. Guys, I'm out testing the Berlingo for the first time. I stopped here at Olsen to pick up something. And I let the car stand running with the keys inside. And now, 
It's locked. I don't have time for this. Oh. One open. Eyes open. Just on with a pyramid. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Intervals. They're really high speed today, so it's good. Back to work the fitness. Have to clean up this mess now. One of the good things is that I have a door inside here. A spare door I have for sale with what? What the fuck? Where is the glass? I was sure it was glass in this door. Fun, fun. Then I have to go back to Østfold Bilimeng tomorrow to Atle with the blødkake. We saw her today. Car is clean, glass is out. Cheerio, I go home now. One thing that was good here now this evening was that I sold the trailer for uh, my boys down at Olsen Bilak Kidding. So it's uh, done and delivered. Atle. Mm -hmm. I need a side window to uh... <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> oh la la! Hey Spen! That good! Smackish. I'm now in the washing hall from my sponsor, Exolutely. So I'm gonna clean this properly. Hey, look what's standing here. It's a timber roof from Ola Antonsen. So my sponsor here speak with my sponsor there and they organize so Excel have a timber roof. So it's no thing in the lion free so girl knows everybody in Excel it It's now time to sand down the filler on the side part here. I thought I could show you that in detail. It's not a hocus pocus. First of all, you can see here now I put a little bit sparkle here because it was few small holes and a little bit too little there. So I just put this now before I sand down. I'm now starting with 400 sanding paper. Then we just go easy like that to see it flat. Here is it not enough you can see, but here is it good, pretty good. And it's important to not do like I did there, go through to the metal. That's not how you're supposed to do it. So on edges like this you have to be careful, eh? So don't, so don't you go through because it's easy to go through there. One other important thing guys, when you're gonna sand down the filler like this. You have to have the machine straight, plan. Not like this, or this, or this. Plan. If not, it's not going to be straight. Complete piece is now sanded down. Then I switch to 600. That's because 400 is too rough. So if you paint straight on this now, you're going to see later the small, small scratches where you have been sanding. With the 600 now, you just go over easily. You're not going to sand down too much. You're just going to smooth it. Now is that done? Now I'm gonna sand down this piece. But here now is it one really important thing I have to take care of. That's I cannot go through to the other paint. I just have to sand down the clear coat a little bit. And this is because when you're gonna paint this, we're not gonna paint the gray color all the way down there. Because maybe you can see a small difference then on the color from the original on the hood to the, the frame here. So the color we're gonna end around here. And you're gonna keep the original color, color down there because then you cannot see the fading if, if the color is gonna be a little bit different. So now we use the 600 and we go smoothly, easily, quickly over it. Now is that done. Now then we're gonna sand over with this hand paper 800 because you always have to use finer from this one because this makes more scratches than the machine was going like this. When you do like this with the hand makes more scratches, so this paper has to be much finer than the one on the machine. And this is basic, just go over carefully, so we, oh, especially down here, like I said, we have to be careful so we don't sand through other paints. Also here, we go over with this paper to smooth out all the edges and stuff. Now I'm gonna do one last thing and then we are done with the sanding. This is to use this, uh, I don't know the name, the crude, we actually call it a fitta. This you're gonna do like this with. And this one is perfect like on the edge here, on the roof. To go down in the sharp, I don't know how to say it, places. These are gonna do over the complete cider now. Now we're removing the dust. Normally you can use a uh, air pistol, you know, with air pressure, but then the dust is flying around in all my workshop. So I do it this way. Now then is it time to clean. I clean with this monopole, silicone removal. When you clean here now with this, the paint gets gloss again. And if you have been sanding through somewhere, you can easily see it. Yeah, I actually like here. I have been sanding through here. There, that's not good. That means we have to put a little bit gray there when you're gonna paint it. 
Yeah, we got to manage. Here also, you know, you see easy. I've been signing through the original paint, but there is no danger because there we're gonna gonna have gray anyway. It's clean and nice. First thing I'm gonna do now before I go further on is mask this sticker. This is a one component uh, fill primer. Yeah. And this one now I'm gonna use like here when I've been sanding through to the metal. All the spots I've been doing that because this you have to do. If not, it's gonna rust there for later. For sure. Yeah, of this one I put two layers. When I say two layers, that was one. Wait, a little drying, drying a little bit, and I put one more. So this is gonna dry now. This one component fill primer. When it's dry, we're gonna just do a little bit with the 800 or 1000 sandpaper, the hand paper I had there I used earlier on. Then this is 100% ready for paint. The only thing left now is this door. This is also gonna sand down. Rear bumper and the plug for the bumper and the fuel tank lock. There we go, door, back fender, side, everything is done now. Today is Wednesday, hopefully we're gonna paint it on Friday. So just have to wait and see if the painter has time. Friday morning, 6 o'clock. I'm on my way to the painter with the silt. Okay then guys, the car is in the box with the parts. So first of all, I'm gonna clean properly. I have no polishing here on the left side panel because now we're gonna shoot the color, scan it. You of course have the color code, but when you use the scanner, you have a bigger chance to hit correct uh, nuance. All right, measure. Measure one of three, then we do it one more time. The last one, three of three. So here it is. I think we're gonna use 0.6 liter on this car. So we start with the WB 2010. Where are you with it? That's you. I'm gonna have 86.7 of that. Then you just have to go through all the colors here with the exactly amount and weight. I'm gonna have 50, that's that one. Yeah. All the colors are in. Then we're gonna mix it. Paint is ready. Painter today, that's uh, that's this guy, me. So it's actually time to paint here. Yeah. Now we're gonna paint the base color carefully. Then that's gonna dry, then we put the clear coats. Uh, now Hey guys, Friday evening, that means it's uh, time out, but I have a few things to say before we carry it down now. First of all, thanks a lot to all the new subscribers. Um, I need more, I need 100 more plus to beat my sponsor with the bet to have more than 2,000 before the new year. And for the future to get sponsored, to get back in the racing car, it will be super to get more. So if any of you know how to help me to get more, please help me. Eh? Um, and tell me if you like this or not. Tell me if I do something wrong. For sure, it's more of you guys out there who know how to do this, what I do better than me. So I'm open for input, you know. Uh, I'm here to work now, after running. I'm gonna put on a trailer because tomorrow I go to Ulsmi Lakiring to my sponsor and friends there and pick up the Seat I painted today. And later tomorrow I go to Oslo to pick up a new car I bought today, damaged one. I'm not gonna tell you what type of car because you have to continue follow to find out. And I think that's it. Yo, few, few of the video clips here when I do this time. That's why I'm using the earplugs now, actually. Uh, then the sound is like, bzzz. yeah, like you have a fucking bug here in here or something. I don't know why. I do everything on my phone here. Uh, I have to fix that. I'm gonna do it. I have to have a new phone or something. So, sorry for that, but I, I will fix that. But then I think we just turn off the light and we go away. <laughs> 